let's talk about the band that you are today. Have you had a broken moment in your personal life? Of any moment of brokenness that you've gone through? Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, everybody goes through that every now and then. So um, uh, in 2013, um, was it 2013? 20, there about 2013, yeah. I, I had done radio for nine years already. And I decided that, you know what, it was time to pursue my career properly. So I, I resigned. I thanked my boss at the time. And I was like, you know what? It's time to launch into the deep. Entrepreneurship journey begins. You know what it is to be an entrepreneur. So I have, yeah, I've had times where I try to start something and you know, it failed. And, 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 but I just keep keeping on. I'm like, no, I'm not giving up. Especially with the animation thing. I mean, I've had, I built this thing, blood, sweat, and tears. It took me over eight years before I even made my first one millionaire, wow. you know. Yeah, in the animation, it was COVID. It was it was it was during COVID that boom, you know, from a hundred and twenty thousand subscribers, I just started going, and then next to one million subscribers, and you know, and then from there it's been something. Yes, it is a, it's amazing. The uh, the right. platform, uh, the House of Ajibo uh, mm. entertainment. It's uh, where you have uh, your animation. We're going to talk about it now. Uh, with almost 3 million subscribers on YouTube. 2.1, 2.1 million. Okay, 2.1 million, okay. Yeah. So um, that alone is big on YouTube, right. that's just YouTube, right? That alone is big. How, why animation, first of all? Right. And what method are you trying to get across with animation? So the first question is, why animation? And then what, what's the message you're trying to get across? Okay, so first of all, um, when I started doing comedy, um, I wanted to stand out. Because for me, remember I said I, went, I, I looked for a course called comedy. Like, I, I wanted to study comedy, right? Mm -hmm. so, so the way my approach, my, my mom at the time, it's sorry I keep referencing my mom because That's I can't fine. talk about, I can't okay. talk about my... It is, it is my, what it yeah. is. Process. Without the foundation she laid, it was not like you know, this is what you want to do, let's go, you know. And you know, um, she said to me, If you're going to be a comedian, because don't forget, at the time, everybody wanted to be every Nigerian or African mom wanted to be mama doctor and mama lawyer. If you remember, right. <laughs> it was like if your child wasn't a medical doctor or a lawyer or an engineer, you have failed your, your generation. You have failed your family generation, mm -hmm. you know? And then at the time, you now see my son is a comedian. Like, like, you, what you is like that? laughing stock. Like, what's that? Mm -hmm. That time, she, she, she say you want to be a jester? Mm -hmm. You want to be a jester as a liar? A joke, and a all joke. liars can go to hair fire? Yeah, you want to go to hair? <laughs> <laughs> she told me, if you're going to be a comedian, you have to be the best there is. It make like graduated graduated from from um, university. She just called me, gave me an envelope. It was small money, but she said, "I'm sewing into your masters." What? Which like what? Like I was, I just wanted to go and start doing my shows, and I'm like, and then she calls me after one more. What, 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 have you registered for the masters now? I said, "How? I've spent the money. Don't worry. Just like uh -uh. I've sewn into it." So. After a while, the money was even up to 5% of what it would cost me, but I was already making money at the time, so I had to go for my master's, you know. So, so oh, I have to go with your master's in mass communication, first okay. and second degree, yeah, yeah, right.